This quote from Richard II by William Shakespeare is um, a very well-known quote and it can be used by people such as me for all sorts of reasons but what is the actual meaning? It's words spoken um, by John of Gaunt who lays dying and he's speaking to the Duke of York as he awaits Richard II's arrival and they're talking about how he's not very happy about the way things have gone and the way that Richard has ruled the land and he hopes that uh, um, better times will come and he's saying about the wonderfulness of England and he, he, he seems to see it as, as, as like a castle with a moat um, and that the war is a very important part of it you know to be able to defend yourself against other countries um, it, he describes it as this seat this seat of Mars um, Mars the god of war in Roman terms I believe so there's this idea that um, we have the foundations of a strong nation and that there's, there's also the idea of um, divine right of kings that somehow in, through the line of kingship um, the, the God is, is guiding things So what John of Gaunt is trying to do here is, is almost to prophesy and he's getting ready for when the king comes hoping for a change of the king's ways. A quote from William Shakespeare's Richard II Act 2 Scene 1 This sceptred isle this royal throne of kings, this sceptred isle, this earth of majesty, this seat of Mars, this other Eden, demi-paradise, this fortress built by nature for herself against infection and the hand of war, this happy breed of men, this little world, this precious stone, set in the silver sea which serves it in the office of a wall or as a moat defensive to a house against the envy of less happier lands this blessed plot this earth this realm this England You've had the almost imponderable joy of watching the John Simpson channel, which means you are a really good person. <laughs>